are an aspiring pole boss and you believe that the only way to actually learn how to run a pole studio is to go into a successful pole studio and do exactly what they do, I want to tell you, my friend, that is not the way to do it. It's actually the contrary. Why? Because if you believe that the only way to build a successful brand is to copy and mimic the people that are already doing it, even if they are inspiring to you, that is not the way to do it. You have to have originality to draw your target market into you. So while it is good and it is definitely permissible for you to actually look at other pole studios, look at other polepreneurs, see what they're doing, jot down a few notes. It's also healthy for you to see what they're doing that you do not like. Taking the whole cake and just saying, this is gonna be my cake, making carbon copies out of other pole studios, making carbon copies out of other pole influencers or pole bosses or people in the industry is not a positive thing. It actually will bring you a clientele that you really don't resonate with. That's the deal. You have to resonate with the people that you are selling to. So please be aware that while it is okay to look at other pole studios, to look at other situations where they are selling pole services for profit, it is not the path to go down if you are going to carbon copy your business behind that. There are several different reasons for that and I'm just going to leave you with a few. One, it's not a natural pathway for you. The reason why that individual who created that pole business decided that they were going to target those particular clients, offer those services, paint their walls the color, uh, go into aerials and hoops as well as pole is because that is what they're passionate about. Hopefully, and if you're not necessarily passionate about it, you just really want profit, you might find yourself in an overwhelming situation where you kind of aren't really driven to learn so much about that industry to provide valuable services. So that's one. Those people potentially follow their passion and so you should follow your passion. Number two, this is my second piece on that is that you need to understand that you see what's on the outside. You see what's been presented. You see the end result, but you don't see the process. You don't know all of the nuances that went into creating what you see today. You don't understand their secret recipe. You don't understand what might have went first versus what went last. And in doing so and trying to copy people, you might end up actually hurting yourself. You might spend more money than you need to spend. You might do things out of order and create more problems for yourself. You might actually overwhelm yourself and end up quitting. So the best path, my pole boss friend, is to actually do what resonates with you. And I don't care how small you, you think that might be. If it's just, I, all I wanna do is just teach spin pole, then be a spin pole enthusiast and rock that market. In the world of pole dancing, there's so many niches that you can do that will attract people to you who are willing and ready to deep dive into those trenches. So be true to who you are, be original in what you do. You can aspire to follow those who are inspiring to you, but just don't carbon copy.